What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. And in today's video, I want to talk about mental fitness training tools and tools all together that you can utilize to help prevent COVID. Now, before I get into this, I hope this video does not get banned or blocked on YouTube because I know that some people have been making informational videos on this topic and they've been getting banned. So what I'm going to try to do in this video is just specifically talk about scientific research that's already been established for decades. Just point to that and say, hey, I see some solutions here. If we direct our focus on these solutions, then I think we're all going to be in a much better state of health and happiness. All right. So let me get to it. We're going through a global pandemic. And if you guys watch this channel at all, you would know that what I what you focus on is what you get. And that's what I always preach. And so when we go and we're watching the media or watching mainstream news, we're seeing the way the government talks about this. All we're seeing is people focus on what we don't want, which is increased numbers of the virus, of increased deaths, of you know, all the terrible things and people getting polarized on either side and it's become a political thing. So let's just clear all that out and let's just start to focus on exactly what we want, which is health, vitality, happiness, ease, peace. Okay, wonderful. So this is what I'm gonna talk about. There are two main things that have been scientifically proven over the decades to make our bodies a healthy place that, where viruses cannot thrive. Now, where viruses thrive are in toxic environments. Now, how do we create a toxic environment in our body? Well, we put toxic food in our body, artificial foods. We put in cigarettes, we put in alcohol, we put in drugs. All those things create a toxic environment in our body. A lot of people don't go beyond just the food and the drugs they put in their body though. And they don't realize that the thoughts they're consuming is also activating toxic energy in our body. And the reason being is because when you consume something negative or toxic, your cortisol levels, which are essentially just the stress hormones, start to increase. And when your body starts to increase those cortisol levels and you're in this more stressful state, your body becomes more toxic, meaning it's a better environment for a virus to thrive. So literally the absolute worst thing you could be doing if you're trying to stay healthy and prevent COVID is to watch the news, is to be consuming negative people talking on either side of how you know, COVID is a conspiracy or everyone's stupid and need to stay at home so we can get over this COVID, like all that is toxic. So let's just stop consuming any of that and let's start to focus on what we want, which is health, vitality, peace, and happiness. Now there are very specific things we can do, but first I have to start with elimination, right? When you start any diet, you start eliminating things that may be putting your health in jeopardy. So it goes without saying, right? If you want to be physically healthy, you should eliminate doing lots of drugs, eating artificial foods, especially overeating. When you overeat and you eat more calories than your body needs, it creates a more toxic environment in your body because your body cannot process that. And that's why it ends up storing as fat. So your body doesn't want those excess calories. And so when it stores it as fat, it's creating a more toxic environment in your body. You're just overloading your organs with more than they can actually handle and use to help you thrive. So really focus on eating the right amount of food and then exercise, movement. The more you move your body, the more resilient you become physically and emotionally. So making sure that you're exercising at least five or six times a week, five or six times a week is going to be super important for at least 30 minutes. Um, if you guys follow me at all, obviously I have a brand called the jump rope dudes. You can find us on YouTube where I give tons of free workouts. Literally everything you need for free is on there. I talk about exercise and nutrition. Okay, so let's do that to start. That's been very well established over the decades, scientifically proven that moving our body effectively and making sure that we are eating the right things, putting the right things in our body are gonna create a less toxic environment. So viruses cannot thrive in environments that aren't toxic. So make sure your body is not toxic. Don't put things that make you feel stressed physically or emotionally into your body. Now, what you can do is start to focus on what you can be putting in your mind to start to bring your stress levels down and put your body in a stronger, more resilient state. And one of the best things you can do for that is the mental fitness training that I always talk about on this channel. 
and make very readily available. Now, if you haven't already grabbed my mental fitness training book, it's free, it's linked in the description below. Just click the button, go over to my website, put your email in, you're gonna get the full system, it's there for you to use as you please. Beyond that, if you just want a simple like one line, this is what you can be doing, just spend five to 10 minutes a day doing some kind of guided meditation that brings you into the present moment. The reason why this can be so effective is because a lot of our stress and anxiety is not about what's happening now, it's about what's happening in the future or what happened in the past. So if we can ground ourselves in the present moment, all that stress just disappears, it disperses, it frees us up to fully enjoy our experience in the present moment. So I highly recommend that you start to do something, anything. On this YouTube channel, I have dozens of free meditations available. Pick up any one you want and start to just listen to it every day. So basically you're feeding yourself physically and emotionally the things you need to thrive. And as long as you're doing that consistently, you are not gonna be creating a toxic environment in your body and viruses only thrive in toxic environments. So a lot of people might say, hey, I know someone who got COVID and they're super fit. Well, physical fitness is only half of the game. The other half is emotional, spiritual, mental well-being. And if that is not lined up and that's not tuned in and aligned, then you're going to be in trouble. You could still face the same issues anyone else would face because you're creating toxic toxicity in your body through your stress level. So it's not just about what you look like on the outside. It's how you're feeling on the inside. Okay. I don't think I said anything too crazy today. Everything I've talked about is well established in all of the science and psychology and physical exercise uh, physiology. So, you know, you have a game plan now. Focus on what you want, which is health and vitality. Feed yourself physically and mentally, emotionally and spiritually. What's going to make you feel good? Stop watching the news. Stay away from toxic environments and people. Focus on yourself, spend more time in nature, get lots of sleep, drink lots of water, eat lots of fresh food. Those are the main things that are super important. So thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it fills you with a little more optimism, hope, and empowerment to realize that you're not a victim. There's, you don't only have one option, which is just wear a mask and stay home. You can also do all these things to create a thriving body where viruses will not thrive or viruses, they don't want to go there, right? They're looking for toxicity. So there you go. There it is. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Be the thing, and I'll catch you on the next video.